Hi, everybody, and welcome back to IVEX Running. I am Rachel, and today we have power walks and hill endurance. Yes, so it's going to be a 21 minute all walking, maybe some incline, but don't worry if you miss any of my calls, miss any of the changes, look to this side of your screen. All of those numbers will be here, so you won't get lost. If you take a look over onto this side, we'll have a progression bar showing you where we are from start to finish during this whole entire workout. I know you're not going to want it to end, so you know to look at that bad boy if you guys are ready to get started look down at your tread let's hit that start button in three in two and one good so we're gonna start 2.5 3.5 we're here for a minute we're just walking it out good so what do we have in store for you today well I'll tell you we have a total of 10 walks okay well we have 18 the first 10 though, we're just gonna start picking up the pace. You're gonna give me 0 0.1, 0 0.2 every single minute. The next eight, we're gonna start picking up on that incline. You got it, guys. So, give me about 30 more seconds. We're taking up just a little bit more. It's gonna be where we start our starting pace for these next 10 walks, for the next 10 minutes. This is a 21 minute workout. Commit to it. You got it, here we go, in 10 seconds, 3.0, 4.0. Then we'll really get started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, so we're at a 3.0, 4.0. We're here for two minutes. After this, they're a minute long. For the rest of the workout. So you got it. So, like I said, let's start checking in with our form. Let's check in with our body. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take a couple good deep breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling, letting it go. Just take in some air, bring in that new air, bring in that new life. And as you exhale, let it go, let all that stale energy go. Anything negative, anything that's heavy, release it with your exhale of your breath. Today is not the day, now is not the time to think of anything other than yourself on this tread. Trust me, you are worth it and it is okay to carve out time just for you. We got about another minute here. So let's get, make sure the spine is nice and straight. Core is nice and tight. We don't have super loose arms here. We have a nice easy flow, a little L shape into the arms, soft grip in the hands, no tension in the face, that's the hard part. You guys, if it's your first or your 500th, time meeting us here on your on your track. Give yourself a round of applause. What did I just say? It's not always easy to carve out time for yourself. So many distractions in life. But I can promise you this, you are going to feel happy once you completed this workout. 30 seconds. This whole entire 21 minutes, I'm gonna talk about commitment. Commitment to yourself and what you're worth. So 20 more seconds. You're just gonna give me 0.1, 0.2. This is where it starts, this is where it begins. There's always a beginning. So let's start it together. Got a fuzzball. Here we go, in four, three, two, one. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, but you're gonna give me something more. 0.1, 0.2 on that tread. So we're at 3.1, 4.1. These are the next 10 walks. You're at like a 0.5 if you have an incline, not super flat, but if you can have a, a little bit of incline, totally cool. So you're just slowly increasing for the next 10 minutes. Starting off slow, building it up. That's how we build endurance. What's endurance? Maybe not working at 100% effort, not in our 100% heart rate zone. We take it back 70 to 85% and we go for a longer period of time. Helps condition, helps get good cardiovascular exercise in. If you had a sedentary lifestyle, I cannot even begin to tell you all the benefits of walking and how great it is that you started today. You give me 10 more seconds. Again, I want another 0 0.1, 0 0.2. 3.2, 4.2 on that tread. Three, two, one. They're gonna start coming quick. You realize fast, a minute's not that long, unless you're sprinting, and then it feels like forever. Or unless you're on 15 incline, then it feels like forever. But don't worry. We're going to get through it together. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about commitment. Have you been, to, have you been on this tread 
Have you started? Is this your first workout? Let's break it down. If it's your first workout, why? Why haven't we started before? Why did we wait so long to start? You don't have to tell me. If you want to, you can add it in the comments below. What is it in your life that's pushing you to start now? Is it health? Is it kids? Is it self body image issues? Whatever it is, think about it. There's a reason. You got 10 seconds, we take it up again. We go 3.3, 4.3, in three, two, one. Good. Whatever it is, it's important. It's not silly, it's not dumb. I love to work out. If I don't have it, I am not a happy person. It makes, I have a lot of stress. Got kids, you know? Got a whole truckload, it feels like. Just kidding, I have two. But two is a lot. It's just me out. This is my happy place, being on my treadmill. I try to devote myself. Remember, we got one life. You take all of your time and devote it to all of these things, right? You spread yourself so thin. So why can't you take a minute, 20 of them, and put it back into yourself? It's commitment. It's starting this workout, 15 seconds. We're gonna take it back out, that's my pause. I always wanna make sure we're getting a pickup back. 10, nine, eight, I finished my story. Four, three, two, let's go. Take it up, point one, point two. Let's see if I remember my speech about commitment. I committed to my speech before that break. Yeah, so commitment, showing up for yourself. You know, you get on the tread, you hear things upstairs, you're outside, get a phone call. How many times do you say, okay, I'll just do this instead. I'll just do these five minutes and then I'll call it a quits. Why? Because whatever we, we put in, we think is more important. Whatever is the distraction is we feel is more important than our actual self, than our actual workout. Let's break that down. Why do we feel that way? Do we feel like we're not worth it? Because we are. Do we feel like the things that we got going on are more important? You don't have your health. Can you do any of those things? Right? No, we can't. 15 seconds. We gonna take it back up. 3.4, 4.4 on power walk. Number four already. In three, two, one. Remember, just going up point one. That's it. You can take it up a little bit more if you're feeling a little frisky, but you don't have to. I just want you to push, just push a little bit more. When we're talking about endurance, it's not zero to 100. It's that slow progression, the add-on. Commit, right? Commit to doing more, commit to being better. I promise you that process of progress becomes addicting. That's it, guys. I'm here for you. Be here for me. Walk it out. Give me 30 more seconds, 3.5, 4.5. So once we start picking up our pace, we're gonna pick it up a little bit. It's gonna get a little, a little speedy at the end. As Soon as we hit those hills, we'll restart, okay? So you get a little break to get, catch your breath. 10 seconds. You guys ready? 3.6, 4.6 in three, two, one. So we're getting a little faster now. Your legs are moving a little quicker, right? Breath may be getting a little heavier. Focus on that breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Pump those arms, squeeze that core. Remember, we're not bringing our chin up. We're not looking down. We're not looking at our trick. That's, that's the one thing we're not doing. We're not wanting this workout to be over. We want it to go forever. So much we want to do this workout two times in a row. Keep breathing. Good. Remember, as you walk, it's heel to toe. Get ready, take it up again. Three, seven, four, seven. Walk number seven, power walk number seven. So we're almost finished with those first 10. Get ready, three, seven, four, seven. In five, four, three, two. You got it. Smile, guys. You got three more after this. Then we take that pace back down. So give me three minutes. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Heel the toe on those feet. Like, like little puppet dog hands. That's me rolling my 
from heel to toe. Listen to that music, guys. Oh, then the music stops. But just listen to it, tune out, zone out. Manifest your goals, manifest your dreams. What is manifesting? It's like taking all your energy, not dreaming, and putting all those efforts into those things. You're not dreaming. Those things are gonna happen. You just gotta figure out the ways to get there. 10. We take it up. Three, eight, four, eight, three, two, and one. It's only point one, right? Now we're moving and grooving. Do you guys think about it? What are your goals? It's to finish a 21 minute workout. Because if it is, you're gonna do it today. We're gonna do it together. 45 seconds. Two more. Two more power walks. Boom, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Don't forget to hydrate whenever you need to. Towel off if you can. Or if some of you really like to feel that sweat drip off your body, you just let it drip. Sometimes that's pretty satisfying when I'm riding my bike, because you can't really wipe off your sweat and you just start feeling it go down your back. You're like, okay, now I'm in a toe and now I'm working. 10 seconds, you give me three nine, four nine. The last two are fastest walks. It's easy though, mind over matter. Three, two, pick it up. Good, you start feeling a little bit more in your inner thighs, squeeze them tight. Gonna have a nice sculpted body after this. Remember walking? Walking is gonna bring a little bit more belly fat. You gotta squeeze that core tight, because as soon as you hold on, we're eliminating the core action. So hold on to your tread. Stand up tall. You guys ready? We got 30 seconds to our last power walk. Fast as one. 4.5, sorry, 4.0, 5.0. 5.0 might start turning into a shuffle. Shuffles like a quick walk, but one foot, both feet are onto the ground. Jog is picking one up, shuffle is you always are connected to the tread. Here we go. 4.0, 5.0, and five. Oh, four, three, two, take it up. Good. Fastest minute right here. Work for it. Don't give up. Squeeze. You got 45 seconds. We're gonna take the speed down. As soon as we do that, we add in that hill. So you went and speed it up to that. We're like, oh my God, the hill. I can't wait to get there. So we just, as far away as we were, we started picking up the pace. We started speed walking till we got to that hill. And then we're going straight up it. Going up that bad boy. So we're like, boop. Ready? 20 seconds to take it down. 3.0. You give me one on that incline. You got it. Eye on the prize. Laser focus. In six, five, four, three, two. You can take it down to a three. 3.0, 4.0. But give me that one on that incline. Reset, restart, okay. You got it. Catch your breath. It's a good time to hydrate. As soon as you start picking up, you start adding extra coordination skills, trying to grab water and move those legs at the same time. It's like pat your bet, was it pat your head and rub your belly? You gotta be coordinated. It's a gift. It's something people practice as they run. I'm running a marathon or training for a marathon. I have to practice r drinking and eating while running, things you never thought you would have to do. It is actually tougher than it sounds. All right, get ready. Taking the pace back up. Same concept, point one, point two. From now to the end, we only have eight more minutes. Eight more little broken up sections. Remember, we're increasing the speed. This time we are increasing our incline. We start at a one. We're going to two and three, two, one. Point one on that incline. Good, so we're gonna start walking up. That's, that hill is gonna get steep. Going up to an eight. Eight. And that's gonna be our fastest, our fastest pace when we hit that eight. So no ifs, ands, or buts. We're nice and warmed up now. We're ready to go. And drink some water. 
It's perfect time. There's gonna be some chill vibes here with the slower pace. Come on, come on. 20 seconds. We're gonna take it up in 15. Where are we at? 3.2, 4.2, three on the incline. This is when you, you start to actually feel the incline kick in. One and two, not so much. Three, two, one. Three on the incline. Give me point one, point two. So where are we at? 3.2, 4.2. Keep the tempo of your feet. A little faster, a little quicker. Again, fight the urge to lean back. As soon as that go, we go up that hill, we want to lean back, we want to hold on. It's cheating when you hold on to the tread. We're not here to cheat. We're here to work. You got about six minutes left of this workout, guys. Commit to the next six minutes. They're gonna get harder. You're gonna get tougher. You're going to get stronger, and we're gonna do it together. Love a good beat drop. You ready for the next one? 15 seconds. Why well, I say it's okay to dance on your tread. It's okay to dance outside too if you're doing this workout outside. Maybe if you don't have any hills outside, pick up the pace. Pick it up, pick it up. Here we go, four, three, two, give me 4.0, 0.1, 0.2 on that tread. 3.3, 4.3. Nice and slow, three, two, one. And then this, we're halfway through. Halfway through our hill. Four more minutes till we reach that top. I say it every time we get on the hill. What's waiting for you up there? What is it? What's your goal? What are you committing to? Think about it. Keep putting all your efforts into that thought. No other distractions. No negative thoughts. Remember, I think I said it in one of my other workouts. That constant positive thinking just creates more positive thinking. Negative thinking? What can I say? Creates more negative thinking. Here we go. Take it up. Five on an incline, four, three, two, point one, point two, on that speed. 3.4, 4.4. So not our fastest yet, but we're getting there. Keep smiling, guys. If you are new to exercise, you pick the best choice right here. Walking, walk first before you do anything. Get the heart right. Be able to finish, complete, commit. Commit to something, finish it. So once you do that, say maybe, we're gonna take it up in 20. Maybe you commit to this one workout. And then, Maybe you're like, you know what? I wanna do that workout twice a week. Commit to doing that. Start to finish, that's one commitment. Doing it twice, that's two commitments. Three, two, one, take it up. Six on that incline, 3.5, 4.5 on that speed. And then once you start that process of committing and finishing, you'll see how that just spirals until you want to keep building, want to keep go going. Progress is addicting. We are designed as human beings to love, to finish challenges. We create these little challenges and then we feel like a sense of reward when we finish them. Set yourself up for success. Give yourself little mini goals. Don't, don't say, hey, I mean, you can if you want. I haven't worked out ever, I wanna go run a marathon. Let's do baby steps. Reduce it to the ridiculous, these commitments, and then start knocking them out. Knock them out. Set a goal, finish it. Set a goal, finish it. Let that be the process. Five, four, three, two, seven point. Oh, whoa. Oh, don't do that. Seven on the incline. Happens to the best of us. Seven on the incline. Good. We're at a three, six, four, six. That would have. So you would have saw me fly and hit the back of the tread in a minute. I'm like, just keep going. 
After this, guys, we got one more left. I want you to go back to the middle of this workout when I told you to manif manifest your goal. Because the next minute, that's all we're thinking about. <sighs> thinking about us, thinking about what we want and how we're gonna get it. And how we do that is finishing this next minute, 3.7, 4.7, fastest, steepest hill, 8.03, two. Take that incline up, take it up, you got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Keep going, keep going. Squeeze the glutes. Pump the arms. Now smile, cause we're winning. Last 30. We take it back down to our flat road after this, but give me 30 seconds, clear mind. I'll zip it for 30 seconds. Walk it out. Ten, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Take it to that flat row, guys. 2.5, 3.5 on that tread. Lower it down. Woo, cool it down, guys. Keep breathing. How are we feeling? You guys made it. You did it. No one fans or butts. You finished that workout. How'd that feel? I'm proud of you. 45 seconds and we're all done. So we're just cooling our body down, bringing our heart rate back down if we spiked it up a little bit on that last hill. Those hills are tough. If they're easy, next time speed up just a little bit. You can always take up that speed a little bit more. Get those legs to work a little faster. Work those inner thighs. <sighs> what did I say today? What was the goal today? Commitment. Starting something, finishing it. Not letting anything pull you away from your 21 minute workout. We're here. Let's stay focused. Let's drive. Let's get what we want in life. Last 30 seconds. Get ready to stop and hit that tread in four, three, two, one. Thank you guys for coming. My name is Rachel and this is Ibex Running. I'll see you next time.